personal freedom. This topic has been on my mind for quite a while. And I think it's been on humanity's mind for, you know, like since biblical days. <laughs> More recently, um, you know, during the COVID pandemic, people were very concerned about personal freedom. Uh, there were the masks and um, all the news stories and whatever. Um, but even today, you know, we have the stories of um, riots in Israel recently and, you know, pro protesting um, Prime Minister Netanyahu's judicial overhaul. And then, of course, there's the war between Russia and Ukraine. All these things bring up personal freedom issues. But most of us actually struggle more with personal freedom in our private lives, in our private lives. Um, and, you know, think about it. Maybe you don't feel free to be yourself, to do what you want to do, to voice your opinions, your beliefs, to values or points of view um, without worry about negative ramifications. Somebody's not going to love you. You're not going to be accepted. You'll be rejected. You'll get fired, whatever it is. Right. And so you you end up feeling imprisoned by by your thoughts, by your beliefs, by your values, by your habits, um, you know, maybe by your health or your finances or your relationships or your job. Right. And I understand that because I've not been without personal freedom issues of my own. And um, I've talked about that a lot, not feeling free to do the work I'm here to do, not feeling free to express my spiritual or metaphysical beliefs, right? But what I learned was to, to um, exercise my inherent personal freedom. And everyone has inherent personal freedom, even you. Even if you don't think you do, you do. Even in this moment, we all do. And um, most of us just need to learn to access it. And as a result of accessing our inherent personal freedom, we, we improve our lives. We improve ourselves. We improve our lives. And um, I've been thinking a lot about this recently um, because I'm just about to, uh, in, in a couple weeks, the members of the Inspired Creator community um, will be privy to a set of 12 sessions, so six months, of a focus on personal, um, personal freedom. And I just think it's such an important topic. And the last time that I offered this set of 12 sessions, this six-month focus on personal freedom, I remember saying that I couldn't think of a better time to tackle the topic. But that was in 2020. And, you know, there was the death of George Floyd. And, um, you know, I mentioned masks earlier, you know, people all up in arms about whether or not they should have to wear masks and the rest of it. And for people were up in arms about personal freedom, big time. They really were. But I would say the same thing now, that I can't think of a better time to tap, tackle this topic of personal freedom because it, for, for a totally different reason. So let me, let me explain that. I meet so many people just in my life, um, as well as through my coaching, um, that, who feel jailed personally, personally jailed one way or another. And you might be able to relate to this because like them, you might not be able to um, find the key to let you let yourself out of the cell you find yourself in. Um, you don't realize you hold the key to that cell. Um, and, you know, and so you, you keep locking yourself up thinking you have to do it this way because that's what's acceptable. You have to say it that way or believe something because that's going to... Uh, get you love um, or acceptance. You uh, have to show up looking a certain way because that's the, what's, you know, what you should do or have to do or, you know, whatever you think is, is the jail you find yourself in. Um, but if we leave the jailing and the key metaphor to the side, what we're really talking about here is realizing that you have the personal, you have this inherent personal freedom and then allowing yourself to access it and put it to use. And we all have it. It comes in the form of, you know, being able to choose our thoughts, 
our actions, our habits, our mindsets, our beliefs, our values, our way of showing up in the world, our way of seeing our lives and others. We have choice. We have personal freedom. So, um, you know, for me, and I, I've talked about this kind of ad nauseum with, you know, the I, I didn't feel like I could express who I was spiritually or metaphysically, you know, I would call myself jokingly the woo-woo lady, but I didn't feel like I could really talk about that or express that because first of all, my husband had decided none of what I believed was true. Um, and so he stopped believing the way I did. Also, I was afraid that um, I would push away clients, um, that friends would kind of disown me, all of that. Um, and I thought I'd set myself free, but even, you know, just today I saw that I went through a whole mental gyration around, you know, I'm not at my desk yet. I should be at my desk yet. Oh, my husband's not here. So it doesn't really matter because nobody's watching when I get to my desk. And I thought, oh, but even without him here, I'm thinking, what is he going to think if I'm not at my desk by 1030? You know, he's at his desk at six or 630. So, you know. So it's this habitual way of thinking that has to do with what other people think and what other people expect of me, right? What they think I should be doing. So it's a daily practice to, to exercise my personal freedom. So think about it. Isn't it time for you to challenge your beliefs and um, behaviors uh, related to how you handle you know, fear and your goals and um, your your career and how you dress and all of that, and to stand in your personal power, to stand in your personal power and maintain momentum no matter what life throws your way because you can always choose how to think, how to show up, how to respond, all of that, right? It's time to check in on how to live your life's agenda. That's the biggest part for me. Your life's agenda, not the agenda somebody else thinks you should have or wants for you. It's time to think about how to move towards your goals and your dreams and be authentically you in every way. Because when you exercise your personal freedom, you actually can step into your best self and create a life that truly feeds your soul, that's aligned with who you are both as a spiritual being and a human being, right? And it's a powerful time right now. The world is changing. The energy of the earth is changing. Like we're going into a whole new, <laughs> whole new reality. And now is a great time to decide who to be, who to be. And you have the opportunity to, to declare that, to declare who you are, who you want to become, and what habits and mindsets are going to help you show up as that person, or just as authentically yourself, right? And you can do that without worry about what others expect of you, what they believe you should do, or who you should be, and think about your decisions and, and what you're doing and who you're being. And you waited too long to say, this is me, and this is my life. This is who I am, and this is what I want, and this is what I'm creating, and I don't Give two hoots what you think about it. <laughs> You've waited too long to be fully authentic and to live life on your terms. And that's such a big thing. Live life on your terms, not on other people's terms. And think about how you've suffered as a result of not doing that. Living as a partial version of yourself, as someone you're expected to be, in a way that feels safe and accepted, but it's not. That's not really living, is it? I don't think so. I've been there and I've done that. And it's not fun. It's exhausting and it's constraining. It's putting myself in a jail cell. So if like me, you're ready to break free, I have a simple three-step process to help you exercise your inherent personal freedom in any situation. Okay? So one, ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing or making the choices you're making. Are you doing it for yourself? Are you doing it for someone else? Are you being congruent with who you really are? 
Like, are you making the choices or responding in the ways that are congruent with who you are or who you want to be? Or are you doing it to be loved and accepted and approved of? Or because someone expects you to? So when you begin to inquire and answer honestly, you're going to begin to discern what's me and what's not me. You're going to exercise your personal freedom by choosing how to show up, what to think, how to behave. Okay, number two is to ask yourself, what would you do or say or choose or whatever if you weren't worried about what anyone thinks, what they expect, what they believe you should do, etc. If you could wave a magic wand, how would you show up? Without the programming, without the worry about being loved and accepted and approved of and all of that. What would you do, say, choose, whatever? Again, when you ask that question and you answer it, you're going to begin to be able to see, right? Where am I exercising personal freedom and where am I not? And the third thing is to choose. Choose. What do you want to do? Who do you want to be? What's congruent action for you in terms of who you are, who you want to be? What thoughts and behaviors and habits align with being that person that you've chosen to be? Again, the more aware and conscious you are, the more you'll be able to discern when you're exercising personal freedom and when you're not. So also, I would suggest that you examine your thoughts and your beliefs, because when you think something or find yourself basing your actions on some belief, like so you're thinking about something or you have um, some, you know, you realize you're, you're acting on a belief, ask yourself, is it yours? Are these thoughts yours or are they someone else's? Like, did somebody give them to you? These beliefs you have, which are just thoughts you think a lot, you know, often they become beliefs. Are they yours or are they someone else's? If they're someone else's, now you get to choose. Do you want those or do you not? Do you want to have those beliefs or do you not? Do you want to think those thoughts or do you not? Choose and exercise your freedom. The same with your habits. Are they yours? Are your habits formed because of someone else's expectations, something somebody told you you should do, um, things you do to be accepted or loved? Are others those habits you're choosing? You get to choose. You have the personal freedom to choose your habits, your ways of being in the world. So make that choice. You have the freedom to change your thoughts, your beliefs, your habits, your mindsets, your way of showing up, your identity, all of it. That's all personal choice. You can choose your reactions. Well, your responses. Your reactions tend to be habitual and not necessarily what you're choosing. You can see that quite often in your life, that you have a reaction to something, and it's not a conscious or intentional response, it's a reaction, and then you, uh, you know, it, it's something that's programmed. But you have freedom of choice there, too. You have personal freedom. So you want to be creating ways of being in the world, your identity. You want to be choosing thoughts, mindsets, habits, behaviors, all of that. They're in alignment with who you really are, that are aligned with your soul. And the only one stopping you from doing that is you. You hold the key. So remember, you have the freedom to step into your best self and your best life to feed your soul, to live on your terms. You hold the key that's going to liberate you from the jail you find yourself in that you created, the cell you created. Right? Because you created it with, by choosing to, to not exercise your inherent personal freedom. But you can do that. You can exercise that personal freedom now and change everything. Everything. So I'm recording this video uh, at the end of August, well, near the end of August uh, 2023. So if you're watching in August or early September 2023, or any time between the end of August 2023 and actually February 2024, 
What I'd like you to know is that in the Inspired Creator community, we're going to spend the next six months, I think I mentioned this earlier, we're going to spend the next six months focused on personal freedom. On breaking free of that cell you've put yourself in, turning that key in the lock, and beginning to live life on your terms. And so if that interests you, if you'd like to 10x your ability to feel free and empowered, and who doesn't want that, right? I'd like to invite you to join the Inspired Creator community at this time. Um, you can learn more by just going over to ninaamir.com and um, you, you can easily find, um, find information on the Inspired Creator community. I will put a link down below this video so that you can easily click on it. Right now, there are a few bonuses. I'm gonna tell you about them really fast. Um, uh, if you join the Inspired Community, Inspired Creator Community by August 24th, 2023, I'm going to gift you a bonus one hour private transformational coaching session. Um, value after that is $350, but it goes away at midnight, okay, August 24th. So that's when the, the, that bonus expires. Also, if you join by August 30th, you can save $100 off your monthly investment in the Inspired Creator Community. Um, the coupon code for that. Um, again, will be down below, but I'll give it to you. It is I C C A U G 23. So I C C like Inspired Creator Community abbreviation, A U G like August abbreviated, and the year 2023, 2023 abbreviated. So I C C A U G 23, and you use that on checkout, and that will get you $100 off every month's investment in your personal freedom and your transformation. Um, you can also use that coupon and pay for um, the whole six month period and you'll save an extra $133. But that is an early bird coupon and that expires midnight on August 30th. So that is my sales pitch for you. <laughs> but I really do hope that you will join the Inspired Creator community. Um, that is where I do my best work. Um, I do group coaching there, personal and spiritual growth coaching. Um, it's an amazing community, a very small, intimate community where um, I work with you. Um, it seems like almost one-on-one. -on -one. It is group coaching, but um, I, I coach you like this, just you and me. Have a conversation, and of course, there is the group learning that goes with uh, group coaching, which is quite uh, powerful. Um, there are also spiritual trainings in there that I do, and um, yeah, so... If that interests you, click on the link above, join the Inspired Creator community. It'd be my honor to serve you. If you don't know that much about me, um, I am a certified high performance coach and an intuitive transformational coach. Um, I believe we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And so I offer a holistic approach to transformation in the Inspired Creator community. We need to approach all of who we are, spiritual and physical human, um, in order to really reach our potential. So that's what I do there. Um, I love helping people get from where they are to where they want to go by getting out of their own way and choosing who to be so they can do the things they need to do to create what they want. I think we're all creators, powerful creators, and we just need to create consciously by stepping into that best self. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope you found this uh, video inspiring and motivational and helpful. Leave me comments and questions down below, and I will come along and answer them. And I hope that I will see you in the Inspired Creator community. So until I talk to you next time, thank you for watching, and go out there and achieve more inspired results.